let us start today's session with the color television system now to understand the color television system we must understand what is the compatibility so the color television signal must produce a normal black and white picture on a monochrome receiver without any modification of the receiver circuitry and a color receiver must be able to produce a black and white picture from a normal monochrome system or mon normal monochrome signal now this is also referred as a reverse compatibility now how we can achieve this particular compatibility the first thing is nothing but the we need to require or your black and white and your color television must occupy the same bandwidth as the corresponding monochrome signal then the location and spacing of the picture and sound carrier frequency should remain the same the color signal should have the same luminance that is brightness information as would a monochrome signal transmitting the same scene the composite color signal should contain color information together with the ancillary signals needed to allow this to be decoded then the color information should be carried in such a way that it should not affect the produced or you can say reproduced on the screen of a monochrome receiver the system must employ the same deflection frequencies and a sync signal as used for the monochrome transmission and reception now whenever we talk about the visible spectrum are we, we, we as these frequencies are in the terahertz we can say it are invisible spectrum in terms of the wavelength so this range varies from 380 nanometer to 780 nanometer so where if you see you, you can see this visible spectrum start with the violet color and end to the extreme, you can say the red color okay so you will find this particular range from 380 nanometer so i am just representing this in terms of the wavelength 380 nanometer to 780 nanometer so this is our visible spectrum and somewhere between this 550 nanometer we observe the green color so you can see at 380 if you are observing violet 400 you will observe blue uh, some shade of blue the indigo then blue at near about 500 theek hai green at 550 yellow in between 550 to 600 nanometer at 660 near about you observe the orange color and some shade at 600 so this is the visible spectrum so if we are dealing with the television system we are dealing with the visible spectrum so if you feel the colors in that particular wavelength you can see here 400 nanometer se aap agar yahan pe ja rahe to yahan pe aapko blue ka shade dikhega for 500 you started observing some different colors uh, like green shade 550 exactly green then if when you are moving towards the 700 it is having like uh, transition from yellow to red color so this is the visible spectrum why to understand the visible spectrum as we are dealing with the visible signal we are dealing with the picture information okay so we must understand what this visible spectrum is there so when we are dealing with this particular natural line uh, light we must know what is the relative response of eye to the different colors so when i say these are the different colors so this is the wavelength in the nanometer it varies from say 3 380 to 750 nanometer so on the x axis you are uh, having the wavelength which is in the nanometer and on y axis you are having a relative sensitivity of the eye so as your wavelength tends to increase your sensitivity increases and you will find the maximum sensitivity at green color and that's why whenever you see green color you feel very pleasant and then again your sensitivity gets decreased okay so this is nothing but the relative response of the eye to different colors now to understand television we must understand what is the mixing of color so here you can see here they, 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 there are three primary colors out of which you can create any other colors so whenever it comes to the color this red green and blue these are the basic colors which are referred as the primary colors because you cannot derive this color from other colors but the mixing of this colors give results into the different color so whenever you are mixing such primary colors and you are getting some another color that color will be called as a secondary color so your red plus green is equal to yellow then red plus blue is magenta blue plus green is equal to cyan so whenever you are deriving such colors that colors will be called as the secondary colors so this is the concept of secondary color now as i have a three primary colors and i can derive any secondary color with the combination of this three primary color now you just remember your red green combine yellow now which color is missing in the yellow 
that color is nothing but the blue color so yellow is the combination of a color which excludes blue so yellow and blue these both colors are complement of each other similarly red plus blue is equal to magenta which color is not there in this particular you are not having a green color so i can say my green color is nothing but the complement of magenta so you can write here ठीक है अगेन यू आर हैविंग अ सी एन कलर सी एन डज नॉट इंक्लूड इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ब्लू एंड ग्रीन बट इट डोंट हैव अ रेड कलर सो आई कैन से दिस फॉर्म्स अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट पेयर ऑफ ईच अदर सो हियर वी हैव स्टडीड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कलर्स और कैटेगरीज ऑफ द कलर्स वन इज द सेकेंड प्राइमरी कलर विच कैन नॉट बी डिराइव फ्रॉम अदर कलर एंड यू कैन से विद द help of this primary colors any color can be derived the second color is like second class of color is nothing but the secondary colors can be derived from primary color complement is nothing but the color which does not include that color theek hai so yellow and blue this forms a complement pair of each other so this is nothing but the mixing of color now three color theory now to understand a three color theory we 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 have already seen what is the yellow color so yellow color you can get with the combination of two other colors that is nothing but the red and green so whenever it comes to the eyes our eyes are having a sensors that are known as the cones and rods now these cones are responsible for color information and these rods are responsible for brightness information now whenever this yellow color falls on your eyes two set of your senses that is red and green these two group of cones are excited at the same time and that's why the additive mixing gets place and you find that the resultant color is yellow color now similarly you can say uh, red and green and blue will excite the different sets of cones to generate the cumulative sensation of the color if i am observing uh, 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 like magenta color that is means it's nothing but the combination of other two primary colors because my cones get excited at the same time additive mixing takes place and i'll get the sensation of third color now the white color is then perceived by the additive mixing of the sensation from all three sets of cones so here whenever you are perceiving the white color your all three uh, cones get excited so when i am talking about the cones i have only three types of the cone in my eye red green and blue and the additive mixing of this cones give me sensation of third color theek okay? hai so this is the three color theory now the mixing of colors so there are two types of the mixing of color one is the subtractive mixing and other one is the additive mixing we are not right now interested in the subtractive mi mixing but we'll understand what is the definition so reflective properties of the pigment are used which absorbs all wavelength but for their characteristics color wavelength okay so you can say whenever the pigment of two or more colors are mixed they reflect wavelength which are common to both that's why subtractive mixing now since the pigments are not quite saturated that means they are not in pure color they reflect fairly wide band of wavelength so this type of mixing takes place in painting and color printing so whenever we are dealing with the additive mixing so here in our television we are are actually uh, using additive mixing so in additive mixing which forms the basis of color television they what happens there the light from one or two colors obtain either from independent sources or through filters and that can create a combined sensation of a different color so those different colors are created by mixing pure colors and not by subtracting part from the white so the additive mixing of three primary colors so as we have already studied about the primary colors red green and blue now here what you are doing here in additive mixing red green and blue in adjustable intensities can create a most of the colors encounter in everyday life so the impression of white light can be also be created choosing suitable intensities of this color you can't take all colors in same intensity but you have to choose a suitable intensity so if you see this is the additive color mixing 30% of red 11% of blue and 59% of green gives you the 100% of white color if you mix 30% of red and 11% of blue 
the additive mixing that is 41% of magenta will be produced if you take 59% of a green if you take 11% of a blue you will get a 70% of C if you take 30% of red 59% you will get a 89% of a yellow color so here one very important terms comes into existence that one lumen of white light if you which you are standardizing for television is nothing but the 0.3 r plus 0.59 g plus 0.11 p so this is how i am going to get one lumen of white light with the you can say pure red color 30 percent pure green color 59 percent and pure blue color 11 percent so that means that this value will be one this value will be one this value will be. so y will be one lumen so always you are going to uh, measure your intensity in the lumens okay now this is the subtractive mixing subtractive mixing whereas you can see black may say agar aapne, now you you are having a black if you are subtracting blue and green from the white you will get the red color so that's why it's called as a subtractive color mixing how white is the combination of red plus green plus blue so how i'm going to get red w minus g minus p like this so if i want a green i'll get w minus r minus p okay so this is nothing but the subtractive color mixing now based on this we are having a grassmann's law now the property of the eye of producing a response which depends on the algebraic sum of the red green and blue inputs is known as the grassmann's law now what is this tri stimulus value of the spectral colors now we are having a primary spectral colors so the primary spectral colors and their intensities required to produce different colors by mixing have been standardized like i have already told you the red green and blue so the red wavelength is 700 nanometer green 546.1 nanometer and blue 438.8 nanometer respectively these are the standardized for television system the component values or fluxes of these three primary colors to produce a various other colors have also been standardized and are called as the tri stimulus values of different spectral colors now the reference white for color television has been chosen to be a mixture of 30 percent red 59 percent green and 11 percent of a blue as i have already explained you so these percentage for the light fluxes are based on the sensitivity of the eye to different colors now here we comes to the very important terms which we are going to use luminance so the first we can say uh, uh, very important property of your picture is luminance or a brightness so this is the amount of light intensity as perceived by the eye regardless of the color so in black and white pictures better lighted parts have a more luminance than the dark areas different colors also have shades of luminance in the sense that though equally illuminated appears more or less bright as indicated by the relative brightness response curve so thus on a monochrome tv screen dark red colors will appear as a black yellow as white and light blue colors as a green so you can understand this luminance is nothing but the intensity without colors hue this is the predominant spectral color of the received light so thus the color of any object is distinguished by its hue or tint take an example of leaves the green leaves have a green hue and the red tomatoes have red hue so different hues result from different wavelengths of the spectral radiation and perceived as such by the set of cones in the retina now the last property is nothing but the saturation so how you are going to define a saturation this is a spectral purity of the color light so since since a single hue color occur rarely alone this indicates the amount of other color present so thus the saturation may be taken as an indication of how little the color is diluted by white a fully saturated color has no white so as an example vivid green is fully saturated and when diluted by white it becomes light green so the hue and saturation of a color put together is known as the chrominance so if i add hue and saturation it will become chrominance and your intensity is a luminance now here you need to note that it does not contain the brightness information so chrominance is also known as chroma now we'll see how this is reflected in the chromaticity diagram so you can see here you are having here uh, is the hue and on y-axis you are having the saturation so if i 
put the colors in that chromatic this diagram will be called as the chromaticity diagram okay so you are having this hue and this saturation kind of thing so addition of all these three colors you can say this is the two dimensional representation of hue and saturation in the x y plane if you put the colors your chromaticity diagram will look like this now the presentation of luminance if black is there the intensity in the black is zero and as your color moves towards the brighter you are in you can say luminance increases so this is also called as the uh, uh, representation of luminance or luminance triangle it is also called as a luminance triangle okay now as we have already discussed about the primary colors you can see red green and blue these are primary colors in between you can see magenta yellow and a cyan now you can see the complement of that color is a positive so yellow ka complement blue hai क्योंकि ब्लू उसमें नहीं है रेड का सियान है एंड देन ग्रीन का मैचेंडा है सो दिस इज द कलर प्लेट वन यू कैन सी दिस इज द कलर प्लेट टू इट शोज यू द एडिटिव कलर मिक्सिंग एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट द क्रोमैटिसिटी डायग्राम सो दिस ऑल आर द बेसिक्स ऑफ योर कलर टेलीविजन एंड विल स्टॉप हियर